So welcome everyone and jazz hands. <laughs> welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and I am joined today by one of my amazing patrons, um, Doug, on the uh, Zoom over here. So if I'm looking over here and talking over here, I, that's who I'm talking to. Um, and so he took too long getting on the call this morning and uh, I... <laughs> I'd already come up with an idea, but he he's kind of whittled away at me a little bit and we have come up with an agreement as to what we're going to do. So I've got a 8 by 10 canvas here and let me just tilt you down, Doug, so that you get to see what's actually happening down on the canvas. Not too far. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a split cup, then a single layer of colour, and then a, turn it 90 degrees and do another split, 180 degrees, we agreed on that one, finally, 180 degrees and do another split cup of, and um, then we're going to do a spiral pour. So, who knows what this is going to turn out like? I don't. Doug thinks it's probably going to end up pastel again but that's because he loves me and he's just jibing me um so um we've got we're gonna have prussian blue and white and then a layer of gold and then Payne's gray and white and then we're gonna do the spiral pour so let's get this cup ready and uh make sure our paints are in a pourable state you know sometimes when you mix your paints well in advance and then don't use them for a while they can thicken up a little bit but no we're looking pretty good on the Payne's gray maybe it's a bit thick um one thing you do need to remember when you're doing these um pours or flip cups uh, the last one, the first one in is the last one out. So what you're going to end up with in the middle of your spiral pour is the equivalent of um, what you put in first. So I've made the call that we're going to put the Prussian blue in first because I want that in the center because the Payne's gray is darker. So I do kind of want to come into a lighter colour. So let's make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. Maybe, yes. And I'm just going to pour the white and the Prussian blue. Trying to get an even amount, trying to keep them roughly together. That should do. Oh, roughly. Oh my goodness. Oh, that, Doug, you'd be so impressed with this. That, that, that is like perfect. Divided. Divided we fall. Divided we stand. No? What is it? Together we stand, divided we fall? Is that how it goes? I don't remember. Now, the next question is, can I get this gold to sit on top? How's that? Oh, the world is with me today. Now, what I've just realized with this is that the way it comes out of the cup, it's just not going to look like we think it's going to look. <laughs> Oh no, I'm snorting. Not a good look. I'm just going to run these down the side and see if they will... It's just pushing the gold into the middle. That didn't really work. But... It looks pretty cool on the side. 
there I can back. It looks like sand art. It looks like sand art. Yes, it does. I agree. All right. Let's just make sure we are centered, looking good. And let's pour. So a spiral pour is literally you just sit there and go little little rings. Um, my white is hiding. That's okay. Little rings. Got a little bit of gold coming through between them where the gold got pushed in between. And I think I've got way too much paint. Because we're still going. Like a little ever ready bunny. It is still going. Oh, here comes the second layer. Look at that. I should have done this on a bigger canvas. Hug! Well, you know, you can stop part way through the last layer and then just run off a big part of the first one. Yes, I can. And you never know. We might make some pretty things on the paper. Who knows what we could make with the paper. Now, I, I don't think there's anything, anything has got silicon in it. So any cells that get created will be from the flow troll and air bubbles. Speaking of which, there are some air bubbles in there. And I can see gold. What would it take for that to hang out on the top? There's heaps of gold over here. Mm -hmm. I'm quite liking the way that the um, the white and the Payne's grey have kind of blended together, like where they're sitting next to each other. I'm just gonna tilt. Nice and gently. Got some big stripes in there. We've got nice, very nice rings. Doing it this way, I'm quite impressed. too much. Definitely don't want to lose too much of that far corner because it's the bit with the gold in it. Oh, 
This is so pretty. Oh, yum. That is pretty. Wow. Pretty wow is what it is. <laughs> I would almost call that looking like some of those cloud pictures that some people use special paints for. Oh, happy, happy days. I don't like that. Check for any air bubbles. There's moments in time where you just have to stop and go, wow. And this is one of them. I really, really like that. <laughs> okay. From my angle, the white corner, uh -huh. which would be your, yes, correct, is the body of the person. Dead center of the face. Then the other part of the white, we're going diagonally across. Mm -hmm. The other part is the messed up rock star hair. And this light blue corner, uh, nope, uh, yep, is his arm stretched out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn it around so that I'm looking at it from your angle. Cause... Right. It's a rock star. <laughs> it's a rock star, dude. So this is the body, the face, yep. the hair, and the arm. Yep. Nice. Yay! <laughs> She's rocking it today. <laughs> ah. Oh, I just love these colors. It is yum. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, so let me get you down and show you and then you guys can patiently wait for it to dry like me. No, I won't make you wait. I will show you the end. Look at all that gold. There's gold, tiny little threads of gold through all through here as well. Sexy fingernail. Look at this. It's so cool. This is the part I like the most. This area, this bottom corner here. I think that is just delicious. Delissimo! Right then. So, sweet friends, I will see you with the dry result in three, two, one. Well, I gotta say, I like this piece. I like it a lot. How about you? Do you like it? I like it. I like it. Look at that. Look at all that gold. Woo hoo hoo. So pretty. So pretty. I still love these bits here where it sort of does the joiny thing. You can see the difference in the colors. The ultramarine and the Payne's gray. And it's so pretty. I bet this one is going to sell pretty quickly, actually. For those of you that didn't realize, my paintings are for sale. First and first served. Contact me. Make an offer. And if I like your offer, uh, we do the deal, baby. <laughs> but I really love this piece. I think it's so pretty. Super pretty, super pretty. 
And then there's the bit of cardboard I did with the leftover paint. That's funky too. So I had lots of fun on this video. I hope you guys did. I really love the result. I hope you guys do. And um, hope you guys are staying safe and well. And uh, I'm going to be going live uh, tomorrow, I think. Yes, tomorrow. So um, make sure that you're signed up on my email list if you want email notifications. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you know when I go live. <coughs> It will be early in the day for Americans, late in the day for uh, Europeans, and middle of the night for Ki for well, probably for Kiwis too. Um, I'm looking at 6 a.m. No, 7 a.m. I'm not getting up at 6. 7 a.m. New Zealand time, which I think is 9 p.m. Europe. 9 p.m. Europe, Saturday night. Saturday afternoon, US. Anyway, I'll see you. Come play. I adore you. And I got lots more of these amazing paintings with my amazing patrons. Uh, I think I've got another four, to five to share with you because we've still got to do that. To see how our pouring on plastic and glass came out. So, lots of fun to be had, lots of fun to be seen. And I adore you. I will see you super soon. Bye-bye.